my lovelies welcome back to the channel we're gonna move on in here it's gonna be a little bit echoey even with the microphone because there is nothing in here yet but today I woke up with a realization that this is pretty real because we got our first delivery here which doesn't seem very exciting I know but it makes it very real and no it's not the stuff that I loaded up into the truck and drove here although I am going to tell you what those are but what we had delivered was actually our corner armor from TNT for the race jeep so I thought I'd just do a quick update on what exactly is going on with the race jeep because a lot of you have been asking we're ready for more race jeep stuff not the daily stuff. Well, first of all, I've decided to do daily videos because there's just so much going on with us that why not share? I mean, that's the point of this channel. So uh, the race Jeep, you saw that we managed to get it on wheels and tires at the right height and we kind of left it there. Everyone kind of went home for the holidays. Um, so now here's what's happening the build is going to be starting up again as of december 10th chris miller is going to be coming back out again and it is going to be here in our shop right here instead of kevin's house pretty exciting stuff so we are going to be starting back with those so every day you will see the build for another 10 days straight and uh yeah let me show you kind of what we have here at the moment now we are still waiting on a bunch of orders from artec pyrotect uh tom woods drive shafts and a couple of others as well um so yeah and they'll all be coming here <laughs> I don't know why I keep pointing that out. We all get that now. I get it. But let me show you what was in those boxes. But also let me show you TNT corner armor. Now we decided to go ahead and order that corner armor as blanks. And that means that they are uncut. And the reason why we did that is because we're actually going to have to cut the wheel well of the body. Um, and then obviously we'll cut this as well. So let me switch you around just for those of you who don't understand what I'm talking about. So here is the armor right here. As you can tell, this is where the rear light is and or the tail light is. And this is where the wheel well will be. Now, we already have to cut quite a bit off the body on the Jeep already. Um, so it's just easier to have blanks. And also we've stretched it as well, right? So we had to get um, blanks so that we could really kind of get that perfect line. And I can tell you right now, with this, it's pretty much gonna go there, um, if you can imagine that line. So a lot of this will be cut out. They'll forever be known as the first delivery to the shop, which is just super freaking awesome. Okay, so now let's go ahead. I'm actually gonna grab my knife out of the car and uh, we're gonna open one of the boxes that came today and uh, kind of show you what that is all about. I am gonna say before I open these, um, they are gonna have to be modified a little bit to fit on the race Jeep, but I am very, very excited to be working with these guys. These guys are incredible and also worked with I'll tell you who it is, Combat Off-Road for the giveaway Jeep as well. They do amazing tail lights that actually sit flush to the body of your Jeep or your Gladiator. Now they have them out for the Gladiator. And uh, it just means that when you're backing up, you're not going to pop or crush those tail lights, which JKs and JKUs are renowned for. So heck yeah, let's get these open though, because they're certainly not tail lights. Now check these out. Look at that. Combat off-road. Super duper light. So we finally have fender flares. We were trying to figure out what we were going to do with uh, that, what look we were going to go for. And um, yeah, we uh, came up with these. We really, really like the look and we like the way that they're made. So combat off-road is getting onto the race Jeep, which is 
super exciting. So we have obviously front and rear fender flares for that. Now it's just time to wait for parts and wait for Christopher Miller to get back so that we can get on this again. Now, I know some of you are thinking there's no way you guys are gonna be able to finish that project there. We don't have anything here, but actually we do with the help of a couple of friends. So we will definitely have what we need in time here to get the project done. Now, when Chris Miller comes back, we have a lot to do. We have a lot on our plate. It'll be long hours in here but it's going to be totally worth it and just as you saw the transformation from day one of the jeep going in at kevin's shop and rolling out 13 days later we're hopefully going to see a massive change again it's going to come rolling in here as is and then hopefully it'll be a tr another transformation which is going to be awesome and we have a co-driver who do you think the co-driver is going to be? Leave your comment below. I want to know what you think. Anywho, we'll let you know about the co-driver later, but right now I have a lot of work to get done today, as always, like everyone does. But uh, I cannot wait, actually, for you guys to see the video on Monday because tomorrow I'm headed to Vegas for a reason with someone, and we're going to share that with you. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.